Hello and welcome to Seymour Movies, the home of fun, fantastic, family-friendly films. Each episode, I take a look at a movie, be it new or old, and try to let you know if it's a good flick for the whole family. We'll give you a quick overview of the movie and then give you a short summary of the content. Anyway, enough jibber-jabber. Let's get on with the show! On today's show, we take a sneak peek at the latest film for the makers of the Dr. Seuss's The Lorax and the Despicable Me movies, this time in the shape of Minions. I'm a big Minion fan. I've got all the cuddly toys, the coffee mugs, and even t-shirts, so I went into this with great expectations. The main premise of the film follows the three main Minions, Bob, Stu, and Kevin, as they search for their new evil boss. They travel high at the high seas and cross many frontiers in order to find their chosen one. And after finding their new evil mentor, Scarlet Overkill, they are given a do or die task of stealing the crown from the Queen of England. The film boasts many A-listers such as Sandra Bullock, who plays Scarlet Overkill, Michael Keaton, who plays Walter Nelson, and Britain's very own Steve Coogan, aka Alan Partridge. He plays Professor Flux. Now the film is funny, don't get me wrong, even laugh out loud funny. However, I felt I was missing a little something. With the main dialogue between the yellow minions held in the native tongue, which is, to be frank, a little bonkers, this movie can often seem like a foreign flick. Despite how adorable the little minions are, I don't think they are cracked up to be the main attraction, and personally, I feel they're best suited to be in a sideshow. Despite its big promise, this movie shadows in comparison to its despicable meme pre- predecessors. As a native Brit, there's plenty to reminisce about, and on the cheeky side, you do get to see a minion in a G-string. Sort of tad shocking. Oh, and a star cameo from Gru, so keep your eyes open for that one. On a side note, it's also good to hear that it's not, this won't be the last we'll see of these little pesky yellow buggers, as Despicable Me 3 will be released sometime in 2017. But overall, Minions is a fun trip to the pictures which all members of the family will enjoy, if they like Minions that is. Now back to business, let's get a look at those all important figures on the board. As you can see, high in violence, good violence. A uh, bit scary, loads of comedy and action, it's all in all pretty good. And now the wowza meter, not too good, not too bad, straight in the middle, 55. And there you have it folks, another fun, fantastic, family friendly film. If you want to stay informed about the latest and greatest from Chimp Central, click on the subscribe button. Hey, I even have a Twitter and Facebook page. Tune in next time for another look at some family-friendly cinema. See ya!